All right, so I've created these channels, but I'm sure you're all wondering, so what? What can we actually do in these channels? Well, there are three base options when you get to a channel, and that is going to be to engage in conversations, do something with files, or there's this plus. So I'd like to start by talking about conversations. You can think of these as discussion boards, where you can essentially create new conversations based on specific topics. So for example, I could jump down here and I could do, um, let's talk about what technologies we want to host at the smart bar, or not host, we'll say demo, demo at the smart bar this fall. And I can specify that it's going to be 2018. So that essentially starts a discussion board post. And on my other laptop, that's now popped up. And I can respond and say, let's demo Canvas and Org Sync. And if I like that, I can just do a thumbs up. I can also then respond to it if I want to and say, um, should we include Google Drive? And essentially what this is going to do now is this is going to create a thread, so anybody who joins this and, and adds to this thread, it's all going to wind up underneath this first post. Okay. Now, beyond that, if I want to come down here, I can also start a brand new post and say, what day should the smart bar be? So now I've started a second post here. And so then Canvas Facts is going to jump in on that and say, <clears throat> I'm just going to pick random dates here. I'm not actually verifying that these are days when things will be happening. But let's just say for argument's sake, uh, we'll do September 14th or 15th. I say we do September 14th or 15th. You'll notice I get notifications there. I also get notifications in my activity feed. Okay, so Canvas Facts has now said let's do it on the 14th or 15th. Okay, so I want to use this as an opportunity to talk about a couple of other cool features of conversations. So you'll notice, first and foremost, in every conversation, I can actually choose to do several different things. I can open up this panel to custom code, or not code, but format the comments I'm going to send back. So I could say, great idea, Canvas Facts, and I could make Canvas Facts name bold. I also have the opportunity here to highlight if I want to. I can underline, choose italics, I can increase or decrease font size, I can change the color of the font, I can add in bulleted or numbered lists, I can change the actual formatting just like you could in an email, and I can even mark a particular piece of the conversation as important. So it's literally like using your email. But there's more. Now, I, I typed Canvas Facts here, but I didn't actually call Canvas Facts out. So let's say I had a directive. So I can say, great idea, Canvas Facts. Can you please reserve the spaces for those days? Now, I could do it this way, but I want Canvas Facts to know specifically that I want those spaces reserved. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back here. I'm going to say, great idea. And then what you can do is you can actually call out people in your messages. So I can do an at symbol, and then if I type or start typing Canvas Facts after that, it gives me a suggestion. So I can do Canvas Facts, comma, can you please reserve spaces for those days? So I'm going to send this. There we go. And now Canvas Facts gets a particular notification on the other computer that I'll show you here in a second. So Canvas Facts has been called out. And what Canvas Facts can now do is, we don't need to reserve those spaces for those days. He was originally saying we pick one of those two days. So Canvas Facts is going to respond and say, to me, he's going to call me out 
and say I meant to pick I meant for us to pick one day which day should it be so I've been called out and you'll notice the cool thing is now it actually gives a little tab letting me know that I've been called out now here's another really cool feature of teams let's say that I, I thought this message was really really important right here where he picked the original two days um, so this one I can see is important because I get the tab but this one here where he suggested the 14th or 15th let's say I think that's important well, I can click on this little bookmark and it's now saved it to my profile so anytime while I'm in my teams I can come and look to look at my saved content and actually see what I've saved throughout all of my conversations so this is a really quick way to get back to a conversation that you're having in one or more of your teams now canvas facts told me we should pick one of those two days. I don't want to be the one to call which day we should pick. I want the teams to decide. So here's another cool feature of teams. Again, I'm going to do the at symbol as though I'm calling someone out, but instead of calling out Canvas Facts, I'm going to do at a bot. Now, a couple of quick notes here. When you do the at symbol, for you to actually call out another user, you have to actually have that user in your team. So I, you'll notice I only have Canvas Facts in here with me. I don't have anybody else from the institution. Whereas in chat, I can go and talk to anybody from Colin. In your team, it has to be somebody who already exists. So I could call out Canvas Facts, but I'm going to add a bot. Bots are automated applications that integrate with teams. And the bot I'm going to use is called Polly. Polly is a polling bot. And so this gives you a couple of details about what Polly does. And I'm going to go ahead and add it. And now what I can do is I can call out Polly and I can say what day should the smart bar be on? And then I can do September 14th and September 15th. Now, there's a certain way you have to write this. You'll notice I put the question in quotes and then the two potential responses in quotes, and then I'm going to send that. So the team is going to see that, but then what's going to happen is you'll notice I get a new message. Polly has started a new chat line here where Polly is act asking, what day do we want to have the smart bar on? So let's say that I say the 15th, and I can post the latest results and see that one person has voted for the 15th but maybe canvas facts votes for the 14th so now when I post the latest results I see that we get those two dates so it's a really easy way to quickly get feedback from your group okay so what else can we do with conversations well let me start a new conversation I'm gonna say do we have a handout for the smart bar. And Canvas Fax is going to respond and say, I think that you created one last time. Can we use it? Okay, so I've been called out. I've been mentioned. And so here's the other cool thing. I can now go and I can add a file. Okay, so it's setting up my files. There we go. I can go to OneDrive, and in OneDrive, I'm going to find the folder I have there that's called the Smart Bar. And in Smart Bar, I'm going to go to the Smart Bar Teaser PDF. And I'll say, oh, well, that's right. Here it is, and I can send that. Now the cool thing is once I send that in the conversation, you know, Canvas Facts could choose to try and bookmark this conversation if he wanted to, but the cool thing is once I've added that file in the conversation, it's now officially added here to my files panel of this channel. Now it is important to note, files here is different from files here. Your files over here in the global navigation is going to be your global files. So that's going to be your Microsoft Team files along with your OneDrive files. Okay, So you'll notice I can find it there 
but I can also get to OneDrive here. But if I'm working specifically within my Teams, when I click on Files, it's only whatever files have been uploaded, not just to this team, but specifically to this channel. So if I go over to the general channel and I click on Files, notice I don't see the Smart Bar promo here. Okay, and the same is true of all college day. Nothing. So Smart Bar here will have that file, but nothing else will. Now, a couple of other things you can do. Since we've kind of talked a lot about what you can do with conversations, and I feel that now at least you can kind of see how cool it is, and I'll get to the meet now in just a moment, but I want to talk about that a little later. But I want to talk a little more about files. Okay, So we'll do that in this next tutorial. I want to talk a little bit more about all the options you have related to files.